we are going to take off the formwork in the beams. We shall use this uh, plan and the sections that we have. Uh, for the plan, we have uh, this rectangular building. It has a beam going all around. The length of the beam from center to center is 4,500. The width from center to center is 4,000. We have section A and section B. The cross section for the beam, the width of the beam is 200 and the depth is 350 millimeters. Beam A, 1, 2, uh -huh. beam A, 1, 2, it's uh, from center to center, 4,000. So it's from here to here. So you see, uh, this, wind, this beam here and this beam here, we have to give them a name. Uh, the first beam here, we shall call it A, 1, 2. A, because it's the first one, it's coming from 1, 2. Here, is, you shall name it B, coming from 1, 2. Alright? Here, this uh, beam for the length, the first one we shall call it beam 1, A, B. Alright? This one, we shall call it beam 2, for A, B. And so, uh, this is what we is shown here. So, we are told now, to take off or to measure for the formwork in the beams. <clears throat> you see, uh, this is a, a, a house. The beams are interconnected. We have formwork that we shall do on the sides to prevent the concrete from pouring, and it shall be side side, then inside outside, inside outside. So for the external dimension, just like the external dimensions is R, we shall have formwork. And just like the internal dimensions are, we shall have formwork. Now, here you need to consult the guidelines that you use in your country. For example, in Kenya, we use the SMM7, which shows how formwork should be measured. So in Kenya, we measure it using linear meters. But in some countries, we just measure the formwork using the area. You see, like here, the formwork will be from up to down. So you shall take... The thick, this area, the depth of the color formwork shall be 0 0.35. Then we multiply by the total length. We shall get the area. And we multiply by the total length, we shall get the area. So we'll just consult the guidelines. Then they will guide you what should you use, linear meter or square meters. In our case today, we shall use the square meters. So uh, for the formwork, we will say sewn, form, sewn timber of 38 millimeters thickness to outer sides of beam 1 AB and 2 AB. We have said that 1 AB and 2 AB they are along the length. Alright? So when you are measuring this formwork and you are measuring it in area, we need to get the dimensions from the end to the end. Center to center is 4500. To add this one, it shall be a half of 200 then we add a half of 200 so a half of 200 is a hundred here it's a hundred so it shall be 4500 plus 200 we get 4700 we come to the width 4700 4500 plus 200 4700 so what is the area of the uh, formwork in the section 1 a b and 2 AB, right? So it shall be uh, 2 because there are two sides 1 AB and 2 AB. 2, uh, we multiply by uh, the length of, the, of that beam, it's 4.7, then the depth is 0 0.35. So the total area of the formwork is 3.29 meters squared, all right? So we shall come to sewn formwork, sewn. Uh, timber for of 38 millimeters. Why are we saying 38 millimeters? It's because uh, the timber measures 38 millimeters. You have to specify which timber you're using. All right, thickness to inner sides of beams. You see, this one is inner side, this one was outer side. If we are talking about the inner side of beam 1AB and 2AB, you're still talking about these beams. We have measured outside here. Now we are measuring inside here, all right? So when you are measuring the inner sides, we shall take uh, 
the dimensions from here sorry here to here okay this one was from here to here but for the inner sides from here to here and from here to here <clears throat> so if it was uh, 4500 we shall have to deduct a hundred here and a hundred here so 4500 deduct 200 4300 that is the length here then you have 4300 you multiply by the thickness you'll get the area then you multiply times two so there are two sides of two inner sides multiply by the length of 4.3 on the depth of 0 0.35 you get 3.01 meter squared then uh, we shall go to uh, sawn timber of 38 millimeters thickness to saw feet of beam. Saw feet is the b bottom side of the beam. We need to do form work there. So uh, what what are the measurements for the uh, bottom side of the beam? So uh, we are still talking about section 1, AB and 2, AB. You see, uh, when we have this diagram here, uh, we, ha we have been shown... Uh, these these uh, beams here when we are placing the formwork below there and remember here at the corners we have columns we will only place below from here to here because at the corners we have columns to hold the beam so we cannot put we cannot place formwork under uh, over on top of the column because we want them to to come together so we shall only support below the beam so from here to here it 4.3 right so aha uh -huh. we shall check about 4.3 then we multiply by the wind which is 0 0.2 so it's here we have two beams 4.3 and 0 0.2 the thickness so the area of the formwork at the surface of the beam is 1.72 meter squared now we shall go to the other beam which is A12 and B12. So, uh, to get the area of the formwork on the outer sides of these beams, how do we calculate it? Remember, we are given uh, the length center to center. Now we want it from end to end. 4,000 plus a half of 200 plus a half of 200, we get 4,200. All right, so uh, for the outside part shall be 4.2, then we multiply by the thickness, which is 0 0.35, then we shall multiply by 2, 2 times 4.2 times 0 0.35, you get the area of four marker is that. The other one is sawn timber of 38 millimeters thickness to inner sides of the beams, section A, 1, 2, and B, 1, 2. So it shall be, the length is 4 meters, then you deduct uh, two, let's look at it, uh, from the drawings, uh, we want this inner side of the beam from here to here. So we have center to center 4,000. You deduct a half of 200, a half of 200. You deduct a half of 200, 100 times 2, 200. 4,000 minus 200, 3,800. So we shall have 3,800 times 0 0.35, you multiply by two beams. All right. Mm -hmm. So we go to the surface of the beams. We only support the underside where there is no column. So uh, where there is no column is from here to here because the columns are the, are the corners. So the length of the formwork from here to here shall be 4,000 minus 200, that's 800. So 3.8. Then we multiply by the width of the beam because we are supporting the bottom part. It is 200, so it's 0 0.2. Then we multiply by 2. So it shall be 2. You multiply by 3.8 times 0 0.2, we get the area of the formwork as such. So, if we want to get the total area of formwork, we shall begin by taking 3.29, 3 3.0, 1.72, 2.94, 2.66, and 1.52. So, we shall get the total, uh, the total area of the formwork. In meters squared so how do we put them in the bill of quantities remember the bill of quantities has an item number the description the quantity the unit the rate and the amount so we shall come and write its item number one in formwork so timber of the eight millimeters thickness for beam the total quantity we shall put it here in the bill of quantity the unit is in square meters 
so we shall come and add the rate and add the amount all right so uh once we add if there are many we could get the total bin here all right so we are done uh with taking off the formwork in beams